All right, so I wanna talk about an important update that Google Ads is making to YouTube ads. Walk you through the whole process of setting up ads the new way and explain what the difference is in the old way and the new way are. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, we're gonna create a campaign, right? We're just gonna click this plus campaign button and we're gonna go new campaign. Now it's gonna start up the process. There's a few different goals we can choose. Uh, I'm gonna go with sales. None of these goals really make much of a difference except for the fact that uh, like a local visit only lets you do local campaigns. Uh, app only lets you do app. Everything else lets you do video and you can just kind of hover over it and see what kind of campaigns you can run. But uh, essentially Google's just gonna optimize for you, right? So I'm just gonna go sales and I'm gonna choose a video campaign and I'm gonna click continue. Now, for this particular campaign, uh, and obviously you're gonna want to have conversion tracking set up over here, so set up your conversion tracking. We have a whole uh, blog post on how to do that if you haven't uh, set up your conversion tracking. Uh, but you're gonna need to have a goal in mind, what you wanna sell, what you want, you wanna get leads, whatever. I'm gonna be promoting the video ad vault with this one, and uh, I have my ad right here. We've already been running it to a few people, but this is the video ad vault in stream angle number one is what it's called. So you're gonna need your landing page, and your ad, right? So over here, we're gonna jump in and we're just gonna call this uh, Video Ad Vault, um, you know, whatever, we'll do placements. Placements, uh, and then I'm just gonna put the date, which is whatever, 9-2, right? Um, just that's how I like to title my campaigns, what I'm promoting, how I'm targeting, and what the date is. Now your bid strategy, I'm gonna go maximize conversions, target CPA if you want, whatever. Uh, maximize conversions has been performing a little better for me recently. And I'm gonna throw a budget of $200 a day at this, um, you know, Video Ad Vault, which by the way, if you have not checked out Video Ad Vault, definitely do that. But it sells for 97 a month or 997 a year. So uh, 200 bucks or 200 bucks a day seems reasonable for what I'm promoting. Networks, now right here you can see, um, you know, uncheck that. The ability to opt out of networks is going away soon. For the time being, I'm going to opt out of the networks. I do not like running ads on video partners on display network. Uh, then we're gonna choose our locations. So wherever you wanna target, obviously put that in there. Whatever language your ad is in, put that in there. Inventory type, I'm gonna go expanded inventory. This is just gonna get my ad shown as many times as possible. You know, I don't care if there's profanity or whatever on my stuff. If you run a more sensitive, um, you know, whatever, I mean, you can do standard, you can do limited, whatever. You can see what the differences are. Then I'm going to choose uh, excluded types. I like to exclude embedded videos and live streaming videos. Now, the reason I like to do that is because uh, these, you know, most people don't leave a live stream, and then also most people watching an embedded video, um, you know, and, and you can actually, this, this is actually the workaround. So if you're excluding embedded videos, it's kind of going to take those off the partner, uh, the display, the partner network, right? So just kind of keep that in mind, but it, it only shows them on youtube.com. So I always exclude embedded videos. Uh, and then I leave the rest of this stuff there. I don't use site link extensions or a product feed, but I will go additional settings and whatever conversion action um, I'm trying to go for, which this one might be, it's it not might be, it is video ad vault purchase, right? And I set this up ahead of time. So now I'm optimizing for video ad vault purchases. Uh, devices, I like to exclude TVs usually. Those don't have good calls to action. The ads don't work correctly, so we'll just do that. Um, frequency capping, I'm gonna cap this. I don't wanna show my ad to you know the same person more than whatever, four times a day if they're skipping it. So you can do that there. And we'll just add that view cap, um, as, or you, you can add view caps as well if you'd like, but um, yeah, you can do both of these. Um, so. There we go, boom. This is uh, impressions. Though. Oh wait, sorry, I did views. I'm gonna do uh, four a day here, and then I'm not gonna cap uh, views, right? I'm just gonna cap impressions, because if they skip it four times, I don't wanna keep showing it to them. Ad schedule, you can set that up. Now this is where the difference is, right here. So you can see, ad type responsive or standard. Now, you can choose standard, and you can see standard ads are going away soon to help simplify it. Use a responsive ad group. Uh, and you can click a little more here if you wanna learn more, but they're essentially taking away standard campaigns. This, this allows you to just set up in-stream ads right here. Now, uh, and you can see their video action campaigns is what these are, and that's what's gonna be happening going forward. So. 
Uh, we'll just go responsive because I'm just going to show you how this sets up. And the only difference between responsive and standard is responsive is going to let it run as a video discovery ad as well as an in-stream ad. But the new video discovery ads have calls to action on them, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and name this placements, uh, placement targeting. Right? And we're going to choose our demographics. You know, Who are we targeting? Gender, age, parental status, household income, blah, blah, blah. Uh, audience segments. These are basically all your audiences. This is just a way you can target. Uh, I'm not going to target via audiences right now. I'm going to set up placements because it's low hanging fruit. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second here. But here you go. Optimize targeting. So this is going to optimize our targeting. You can turn it on and off later, um, or you, you can opt you can opt out of it later. But literally nothing. It, it stays on right now, and you can turn it off later. So keywords. You can target by keyword topics and placements. Right. So I'm going to come over here to placements. Uh, I'm going to jump over to tube. Sift. If you don't have TubeSift, check it out, TubeSift.com. We'll link to it below this video as well. And I'm just going to look for a YouTube ad spy tool, right? I'm going to search for, let's say, 100 of those videos. I'm going to find 100 monetized videos that are all about a YouTube ad spy tool, right? And obviously, I'm advertising, you know, how to find your competitors' YouTube ads, things like that. I'm obviously advertising a YouTube ad spy tool. And so if I can put my ad in front of any of these videos, Boom, we are good to go because these people are actively searching for the product that I am selling, right? Um, super cool stuff. And yeah, this is going to be, you know, it's, it's going to work great. So while that's finishing the search, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of this campaign up. Uh, and then we'll add the placements after because it's going to take just a second. Uh, so I'm going to go new video ad. And obviously, it's responsive. And you can see video ad type selection is not supported. So I'm going to come here to my in-stream ad. I'm going to copy this URL right here. And I'm just going to paste my ad right here. Now we're good to go. Now, what is my landing page? Well, it's going to be videoadvault.com. And I'm just going to copy that URL. And I'm going to paste that right here. Boom. Now, people click on the link, they're going to be taken to videoadvault.com. Now, I want my call to action. So I might put like watch demo, right? Boom. That's exactly what I'm trying to get them to do. In this video, I say, hey, click the link on the video to watch the demo. The headline might be, um, you know, YouTube ad spy. Something like that. YouTube ad spy. A uh, long headline might be YouTube ad spy tool. Um, or, you know, like whatever, brand new, something like that I could put in there. The long headline is going to be for your video ad or video discovery ad. Brand new YouTube ad spy tool. And the description might be, um, you know, this is also for the, for the video ad, um, or sorry, the video discovery ad. And so basically what happens is you can, it'll pull all of these from your website for you, which is kind of cool. Um, but I'm going to be like search hundreds of thousands of video ads and find out what's working. Boom, there we go, right? So you can see here's what it's gonna look like, right? So here's our previews. Uh, but first, let me set this up. Um, you're gonna wanna upload your own image for the companion banner, right? Uh, and you can basically choose the file type that you would like, or you know, it's 300 by 60, um, so you can upload it. I'm gonna go to YouTube or TubeSift. I'm gonna stop this at like 86. We have 86 links right now. So that's pretty solid. You know, 86 links all about YouTube Ad Spy Tool or Ad Spy, whatever it is. So we're good to go. I'm just going to get these links, copy these real quick. I'm going to close that. And I'm going to come in and paste them into, um, into the placements in a second here. Actually, I'm just going to. I'm not going to do that yet because I, I did it a little out of order. But anyway, we'll jump over to the Banner Studio. I'm going to launch the Banner Design Studio. And what I would do is I would choose Companion Banner in-stream ad right here, 300 by 60, boom, click OK. Um, I would import the logos, I would you know, throw some text over it. Uh, I'll just kind of briefly show you how this works. You know, everything's drag and drop, boom, boom, boom. And uh, you know, let me just throw a random photo over this. Obviously, you know, we're not promoting a nature product, but you can see how this would kind of work. There we go, you know, drag and drop. And then I would throw some text over it. I like this permanent marker font, and I would just say like, you know, click here, blah, 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 get the video ad vault, and I would save it, right? I already made one of these, so I'm just going to go select an already uploaded image, and I might just go new YouTube ad spy tool. Boom. I'll put that on there, and I'll just leave this as add one. We're good to go. I'm going to click, uh, oh, one thing I want to show you is you can see what it's going to look like right here, right? All the formats. So um, the on your computer, it's literally just going to be 
uh, here's an in-stream ad on a computer. That's it. That that's the only way that it's going to show on a computer. Uh, the it's going to show as a video discovery ad on mobile as well. So um, you know, video ad discover. Or you can see in-stream on mobile, right? Boom, boom. Um, you know, YouTube ad spy tool. You can see what the video discovery ad is going to look like. And they added these cool calls to action right here, and you can see where it's going to link to. So that's really the only difference. It's going to mess with the click-through rate a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. Um, and then we're going to click done, right? So, and you can also preview this as well, uh, and you can edit them. You can duplicate them and change a few things, like um, you know, change your your calls to action, all that kind of stuff, and you can set all that up. Now we're going to put our placements in here. So I'm just going to paste this right here. Boom! I'll add those 86 placements, and now every time somebody watches one of these videos, our ad is going to be shown, right? Just like that. Um, super simple. We'll click create campaign, and we are done. So that's the new setup process involved in these uh, video action campaigns, they're called, or responsive video campaigns. The only difference is it also sets it up as a video discovery ad, which would have been a bad thing in the past. However, it's going to be a good thing in the future, I think, because it's going to allow us to um, they have those calls to action on the video discovery ads. Now, one thing I do want to say is if you want to not hit video discovery ads, just uncheck mobile phones, right? And then this would be like specifically computers. It's only going to show, you know, it's not going to show on mobile ads. And that's the only time, it obviously seriously limits our impressions, but um, that's the only time that our ad is going to be a video discovery ad is on mobile. So it's not a huge deal. So if we change this to, um, you know, mobile, you can see it goes up a ton. We're going to get some video discovery ads, but um, all good. So you can create two separate campaigns as well. Um, and we can actually just target mobile phones as well. And we can set up a mobile campaign that's only going to um, run. We could put a little less budget on it, but we could still scoop some up. So if for some reason you find that your, um, your ad is not performing as responsive, I would recommend splitting it into mobile and non-mobile and just giving a little less budget to the responsive mobile so you can still exclude that and just get desktop traffic and really um, still see amazing results. So um, that is it for me on this one. That's exactly how to do all that. Uh, as always, you can jump on over to tubesift.com, sign up for a TubeSift license where you can get all of the videos that we were targeting just like you just saw. In a few minutes, we had highly targeted monetized placements that we can put our ads in front of and every time anybody watches any of those videos our ad is going to be shown right um, so definitely check out tubesift.com and also check out video ad vault this is a new software like I said I was just setting an ad up for it this is a full-on you can check it out video ad vault.com a full-blown YouTube ad library that's a as you can see a searchable collection of YouTube ads and landing pages so uh, definitely check out the video ad vault uh, you can actually come over here and search for you know whatever you'd like uh, by keyword. I can search for like all the ClickFunnels uh, or whatever. Let's see, all the ClickFunnels pages and ClickFunnels ads. So this is like Russell Brunson, but here's all the other people that are pushing traffic to ClickFunnels funnels, right? And you can see what's going on, um, what everybody's doing. There's all kinds of good stuff you can find in here. Uh, you can see the ad. You can see the landing page. Uh, you can see exactly what Anthony Morrison's pushing to. Um, Boom, there's like a free free webinar, free book. Um, you can click on this. You can see you know, how many views are he, is he running. You know, what are all the landing pages split tested? Uh, here's all the different landing pages split tested with this specific ad, all that good stuff. So um, again, that's all I really have for the responsive video ads. I think it'll be a good thing. I've been testing them. Um, you know, they haven't been working quite as well as the other ones, but like I said, you can exclude mobile and get back to those normal campaigns. Uh, and currently, you can still set them up normally as well. So I will keep you posted with more information as we have it, as we play around with these things more. And um, yeah, like I said, scoop up a TubeSift license. And thank you so much for watching. That's it for me on this one. Bye for now.